Good afternoon. Your name? My name is Ravnath. Okay, Ravnath. Can I have your resume? Yes, sir. Ravnath, introduce yourself. So my name is Ravnath Yuruti. I am from Tamil and currently staying in Iowa. And I have done my bachelor's in Vijay Engineering College and I have done my plus two in Christmary Junior College and I have done my SSC in New Era School. And my technical skills are C sharp, uh, uh, Java, and Z. And I have front end skills are HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And database and OS, MS SQL Server. And I have done my projects in academic projects are two. One is about our college via website. Just to publish the, it is to interact with the students who are having. Uh, having many ideas to collaborate with other students and the other project is finding the uh, students who are finding the students who are uh, early early taking withdrawing from the online courses and that's all I would miss. Okay. Okay Ravna. So you are very good in database and as well as C sharp, right? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. So, so what are the SQL commands we have? DDL commands, DML commands, DCL and DCL commands are major. Okay. So what are the DDL commands? DDL commands are create, alter, truncate, and drop. Okay. So then, what is the purpose of the joins? Joins is used to combine the value rows or values of two or more tables. Okay. Can I know that what are the joints we have? So inner join, outer join, self join, sir. Okay, fine. So can we use the any constraints? Yes, sir. So uh, the constraints are unique for having the only unique values in a table. And we have the not null constraint which doesn't support the null values to be entered. And we have primary key which is the combination of unique and uh, normal constraints. We have foreign key which, uh, which builds the relation between parent and child tables. Okay. So, how much you rate yourself in Sisha? Sir, I rate five? myself 3.5, sir. Okay, okay, nice. So, tell the difference between string and string builder. String is immutable, sir. And string builder is mutable. When we implement the modification for a string, it will create new memory uh, while we modify the value. But whereas in string builder, it will be allocate the same memory for uh, the new value when we modify the value. Okay, so what is the difference between static and instantiation? Static and instantiation is we, we use the instant variable uh, like we want to pass different values for the object, we use static, sorry, instance. But whereas the we required uh, same value for the object, uh, like many times, we use static. Okay, so what is the purpose of the this keyword? This keyword is used to invoke the current class variable. Okay, fine. So what is an abstraction? Abstraction is nothing but hiding the unwanted data and implementing the wanted data. Like we have two abstractions, data abstraction and uh, method abstraction. Data abstraction is nothing but uh, hiding the unwanted data and uh, displaying only the wanted data. Method abstraction is nothing but implementing the methods we, we want only. Okay, what is the difference between abstraction and interface? Abstraction and interface is like we take a abstract class. We can have both abstract and non-abstract methods. But we take but as in interface, the the default methods are the default methods are only abstract methods. Okay. So can we implement the abstract methods and as well as the interface? Is it possible? So what is the purpose of the interface majorly we are using? The major purpose of interface is to in the multi inheritance. Okay, fine. So, what is multi inheritance? Multi inheritance. Having both parents, but only a single child. It, uh, the child must 
with near the properties of both the parents like both are many parents two or many parents yeah exactly so multi inheritance it is nothing but it is a combination of hierarchical and as well as a hybrid right so that's why so hierarchical is possible and as well as hybrid is not possible that's why multiple inheritance is not possible so to achieve the multiple inheritance we are going to the interfaces right so what are the default access modifiers we are going to use default access modifiers for class members or private for class it is in the mode yeah okay so what is the so if i declare a private keyword as a class can i able to access in another class is it possible or not possible by default it is not possible sir. so within the same class is it possible yes sir okay so what is assembly assembly is a unit of code which is used to versioning and deploying there are two assemblies private and shared assemblies okay so what is an exception exception is nothing but a runtime error which we handle uh, to stop the abnormal termination of a code so can you give some real time examples about the exceptions real time examples so like we are dividing we are dividing a number by zero it, it may uh, go to infinite which we which we cannot handle so like to handle the error we go for exception and yeah, okay fine so what is the difference what are the types of the exceptions we have type of exceptions index out of bound arithmetic exception format exception okay what is random exception and what is compile time exception compile time exception is nothing but errors we are uh, which programmer will depend like uh, we are not specifying semicolons or curly braces or uh, like some having some small mistakes but runtime exceptions are cannot handled by programmers okay so what is the difference between boxing and unboxing boxing is converting the data from value type to reference type so whereas unboxing is converting the value from reference type to uh, so value type example for boxing is converting an integer to string or object uh, example for unboxing is converting a string to integer or float or loop. so okay fine so what is the difference between arrays and collections arrays will support only homogeneous uh, homogeneous elements and we have to mention the size clearly but there as collections we don't need to mention the size clearly and also in collections there are two types generic and non generic where generic types we have to which are uh, type safe and non generic which are not type safe okay so what is uh, list list is nothing but a collection of elements which which specify the so a list can allow the duplicate elements yes sir yes so then uh, dictionary dictionary will allow the duplicate elements sir. okay fine dictionary will allow that only unique elements unique elements but uh, having the key yeah with the key, key we can uh, we can able to add. so what are the assembly types assembly type private and shared assembly sir. okay so what is enumerations enumerations are nothing but constants integer constants which are represented in string string constants mm, like default uh, data type for enum enumerations are integers okay okay ragnar that's all about the okay.